Hello everyone. Um, you're probably all wondering what's in a mason's toolbox. Well, this is a mason's toolbox. And there's the first tray. This is my toolbox anyway. And we have loads and loads and loads of 6H pencils. You need very hard pencils if you're going to make any mark that stays on stone. Uh, and you, you need it to be hard so that um, it doesn't wear away instantly. You need lots of these straight edges and um, rules, adjustable squares. Um, that is one of the handiest things I've got. That is a steel um, a French curve. Brilliant for just scribing straight onto the stone. Um, what else have I got? Rifflers. Um, uh, I've got proportional dividers. Very good for um, making circles and everything. This is more of a gauging tool uh, where you actually have to gauge um, columns and things like that. That's adjustable. Um, I have, sometimes these are called scutch. Bits, uh, we call them, um, or combs, we call them claw bits in, in stone masonry. Anyway, underneath this, um, what do we have? Ah, my mallets. A six inch mason's mallet. Nylon and I think, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure whether it's a hardwood handle anyway. Uh, knife, very handy. That is a pneumatic gun. Um, that's for use with a compressor. Uh, you put a, 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 a chisel in there and um, off you go, basically. It's a two-stroke engine. Um, various chisels. These are pneumatic ones. And what are these? That is a tungsten. That is, sorry, that's a French drag. Um, French drag from Ch uh, Ch uh, Chazo in uh, Paris. And um, basically, use it on soft stone, and you push, and uh, it scribes the stone off to a flat surface. Very handy. They come in a variety of um, different uh, shapes, contours, so you can get exactly the right shape you want to with those, but only for use on a very, very certain type of stone. What else have I got? English drags, a variety of shapes used for filing the stone. Uh, not saws, but you can actually use them rather like that in order to get the stone flat again. Um, that's a tungsten one, that's got tungsten carbide teeth on it very very handy very good tool and that was handmade for me by um jp masonry of um salisbury in wiltshire um i have uh, that's a four pound hammer that's uh we use we like to have heavy hammers in masonry believe it or not it takes a lot of the work out of it because uh, of the techniques we use to uh, use them we don't swing them around we let them drop and um, when we let them drop the hammer's doing all the work um, what else I have? That's, that's called a, um, a dummy. Uh, that's just a lump of iron on the end of a stick and that's what we use for letter carving. We just take the letter carving chisel and um, hit it basically with a, with a light enough weight but it's heavy enough to make, a, 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 to make um, a, enough to, uh, to get the actual chisel to do its business. That is a tungsten um, rubbing block. And what else do I have? Various tools and chisels. That needs a new scotch bit in it, as you can tell. But um, basically, that's that's a masonry toolkit. Um, all kinds of uh, bits and pieces. Um, I could go on. There's other more uh, specialised things in there as well. But that is that. That is a mason's toolkit. Or at least it's mine anyway. Thanks a lot.